Hey, I'm Kieran Newsham. I'm the Chief Technologist of Cybersecurity at Softcat, and I wanted to drop you some information on some of the cool security features in Windows 11. Now, there are oodles of security features that come with Windows 11. I thought it was pertinent to split them up into three. Um, so if we talk about the hardware security first, Trusted Platform Module. So Trusted Platform Module 2.0 comes as standard with Windows 11, and in fact, you have to have it enabled in order to use Windows 11, BitLocker, and Windows Hello for authentication. So what is Windows Hello? Windows Hello takes securing your devices and applications more personal. You're able to switch from legacy authentication and move to a biometric system, such as an iris scan, facial recognition, or fingerprint. This is all secured with a pin code as a backup solution in case you can ever log in using one of those methods. So how does Windows Hello work? Well, first it's important to note that Windows does not store any photographs of your iris, facial recognition or fingerprints. Instead, it creates a data representation or graph and then encrypts this and stores this onto the device, making it much more secure. This is the hardware-based module that comes um, that directly developed with Windows 11 to produce and store cryptographic materials such as algorithms and hashes. Um, this is a fantastic new version of TPM. It's actually been out for quite a while, since 2016 roughly, um, but it supports much more secure algorithms and has a wider operating system support. And it's also very critical for the software that you put on top of the laptop or PC to be integrated into TPM and it supports quite a lot of software as well. The second element um, is quite a lot of the other hardware security um, is around preventing things from booting into the laptop, so such as drivers, um, they can help prevent persistence attacks and things like that. So something that we saw with WannaCry, um, where it actually loaded a malicious driver, it can stop things like that. The other element um, is hybrid work and zero trust. So with hybrid work and zero trust, it comes with something called Entra ID attestation. Entra ID attestation links to your Entra ID client or what you would have known as previously as Azure Active Directory. Um, this then allows you to do some posturing of the device once it comes on, so you can see if it's booted correctly, which is another really key way to check for um, persistence issues or challenges. Um, and you can also see if it's got certain operating system security features enabled by default. And lastly, I wanted to mention um, credentials, which is another thing that is critical to protect um, on your endpoints for your users and your customers. Um, credential Guard, Windows 11 Credential Guard, prevents things like pass the hash, um, pass the ticket attacks um, by having a virtualized piece of software that compartmentalizes those credentials, encrypts them and protects them. So that's really important if you're looking at implementing Windows Hello and you're going to be effectively storing biometrics on those endpoints as well. Um, they're three things that I think are pretty cool features for Windows 11 security. I um, hope you've enjoyed it and see you soon.